Hello there guys, and welcome to another Minecraft video. Uh, it's been a while, hasn't it? Um, I was off holiday in Queen sunny old Queensland, um, so I didn't even touch uh, Minecraft at all, I didn't even open it. Um, and so much has changed since I've been gone, with the 1.5 update coming, well, as soon as they can get round to it. Um, what have we got? We've got the comparators, we've got hoppers, trap chests, analog signals, all of these awesome stuff that they, they've now put into Minecraft. Um, and, uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. I've got to catch up on all of it. But, uh, just to start off, I've got a, um, shop here. So, uh, as you can see, this shop, you can purchase a piece of log. And for that, you'll get one charcoal. Um, and so if we open up this hopper and we chuck in, let's, uh, let's say we want four, four pieces of charcoal. We chuck in four pieces of log, and we'll get our four charcoal. Now, uh, Say we really, really wanted charcoal, and we try to put in emeralds. Doesn't work, no matter how many we put in, it's not going to buy us any charcoal, because charcoal's worth more than an emerald. But if we go back to our piece of wood, we get another piece of charcoal, put another two, three, I mean, and we get our three pieces of charcoal. Uh, and you can come downstairs, come around through the tradesman entrance, as you can see here in the wood shoulder, we've collected our ace piece, eight pieces of um. Eucalyptus, which joins to form our 64 pieces of wood. So, uh, it's a pretty neat design. It's extremely compact. Uh, I'll show you... I'll, I'll, I'll do a step-by-step -step tutorial later on. But as you can see, it's very, very compact. But unfortunately, due to the amount of... Uh, well, the amount of stuff that they're adding into this uh, time... was it says zero... Um, due to the amount of stuff that they're putting into the snapshots, there's actually quite a few bugs occurring from this. So if we head over to my one emerald for one diamond one, we can chuck in our one emerald, and it'll give us our one diamond. No, it'll give us two diamonds. Now, before it was giving me one diamond, so that's funny. Uh, and if we chuck in two, is it going to give us four, or is it going to be inconsistent? No, it's consistent now. Before it wasn't consistent, but anyway, now we're actually only getting three, diamond, uh, three emeralds, uh, six diamonds, sorry. We're getting three emeralds for uh, six diamonds rather than each. So it's actually quite buggy at the moment. Uh, and these two things are the exact same as well. Uh, another difference is I've got the just the core of it without any fancy pantsy stuff. And um, I need my emeralds. Where have my emeralds gone? Here we go. Uh, I can chuck an emerald into here, and it'll give me. No wait. Okay, this one's the broken one. We can stick a emerald into here. We get one diamond. We can stick an emerald. Oops an emerald into here, and we'll get one diamond. We can stick an emerald into this one, and we get one diamond. But this one, you don't get anything, even though these are all the exact same steps, just rotated. So, before you start building, make sure where you're going to have your output, your output hopper, so this is the hopper that pulls from your chest of stuff that you're going to give to the player. Like, so what you're, what you're selling is in here. What you're buying is in the lower chest, what you're selling is in the upper chest. And so what you want to make sure, you can see on F3, when I'm facing this way, it says F3 East. So you don't want your torch to be on the eastern side of your hopper in this setup. Um, and so now I'm going to show you how to do that design. As you can see, whoop, boy, I'm actually in the latest snapshot. As currently, I think that came out a couple of days ago, 13W05B. Um, so yeah, we'll work on that. Uh, might have to submit a bug report to try and get that fixed because it's quite annoying when you've got two of the exact same things, exact exact same, same direction, same redstone, nothing different, and they give you two different outputs. Um, so making sure that we're not facing east when we build it. What we want to do is let me just clear up my inventory. Whoop, uh, I marked that up. So. Uh, you've got your building block. I'm just going to start up four high, and you want to place down your receiving chest. So this is where your income's going to be, what you what you want to receive from your sale uh, with the player. And on top of there, you want to place one hopper, and then to the side of that, another hopper, another hopper, and then a fourth hopper to the back. So you've got this uh, uh, this knight move in chess, or the Tetris piece, the old Tetris, Tetris piece, um, coming out of there. And then from the back of here, so around the back of your thing, you're going to have, uh, around the back of your shop, you're going to have 
two pieces of whatever block you're using coming out at chest level, coming out here. You're going to place one on the back here with one up, another one to the side, and another one to the side, the other, whoop, whoop, the other side. So you've got this, this barrel shape, and then you want to build one further up like that. So you can see we've got a 3 by 2 area, but some of them are, half of them are raised and half of them aren't raised. And on here you want to place a redstone comparator. You can find these in the redstone section right at the end. You've got to be in the snapshots, they're not in the current uh, uh, def uh, current released version. Um, and so what you want to do, place a redstone comparator pulling out of the hopper above your chest. You want to have a redstone repeater pushing in to the hopper that's leading into the, the hopper that's going to the chest. And then you want one, two, three, four pieces of redstone across the top, one repeater, and one repeater. And then your chest for your input, what you're going to give the player, goes on top here. Now, of course, it can be a double chest or single chest, whatever, whatever you need to, to um, fill your demand. Um, so, what you next need to do is you need to find out uh, what you're going to be selling and what you want to receive from the player. So, uh, in this, we might go, we might... Uh, Go gold and blaze sticks. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to sell the player blaze sticks for one gold piece each. So one blaze blaze rod per one gold bar. So what you want to what you want to do when you're receiving is you go to this hopper above the chest and you place one, two, three, four, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen into there. And now nothing should come out of this chest, but if you pop another one into the chest, it should come out and re revert back to 18. And I'll show you the logic afterwards. Um, so we've got that in there, so that's set up for the input. Now for the output, what we need to do is in the hopper that draws out of the chest, we need to place one of our selling items, and then the rest of them can be chucked in the chest. And now if we chuck in one blaze rod, you can see we get one gold bar. We chuck in two of these, we get two gold bars, and uh, if we chuck in 39, we'll end up with 39 gold bars in there. So, um, while we're waiting for this, I'll show you how this actually works. So, um, with comparators... Uh, comparators work uh, when it's looking at an inventory, either a chest or a hopper. Um, they'll actually... They'll output, output a, a signal strength. Whoops, that's too close together. Oh, I'm breaking stuff. <laughs> they will output a different signal strength depending on the how how full the chest is, the, poten the percentage of fullness of the chest or the inventory slot. So in hoppers, it's got five slots. In chest, it's got 18. Uh, no, 19, 27. And in double chest, it's got 50, uh, 54. <laughs> um... So it calculates, because redstone, when you put a full strength redstone uh, redstone uh, source, and we'll just use a repeater just so it kind of lines up, it will travel 16 blocks, as you can see. we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And the 16th won't be on, because it works in, uh, well, yeah, 15. 15 signal strength on full power. Now, the way that uh, these comparators output the volume of a chest, the uh, sorry, the um, the fullness of the chest, is by sixteenths. So, if it's zero sixteenth full, there'll be no output. If it's one sixteenth, there'll be one output. And if there's six sixteenths, then there'll be full output up to here. So, uh, and it actually and it rounds up. So. If there's one in so in the hopper there's five slots, and if we put in something that can stack to 64, one so 64 times five, one is not one sixteenth of 64 times five, whatever the number is. I can't be bothered calculating it, um, but it rounds up. So as you can see, it activates the first one, as you can see just down there. If we put in two, it's not it still hasn't moved up to two sixteenths. Now once we get to 22, 21. 22, 23, it moves up to the next one. And so now this is counted as being 2 16th at, um, at a minimum, o over 1 16th full, I should say. So it's got slightly more than 1 16th. 
and that's outputting that. Now, if you notice, we put in 23 eucalyptus lo uh, wood logs, and we got out. We just got out uh, two bars. Just if we take one out of here, you can see it's back down, back to one. And if we put another one in, it goes up to two. Now, with this chest, we'll do the same. Let's put in 23. So we've got 23 here, and we pop in. But yet, we're only getting one signal strength because the chest is not a minimum of one sixteenth full. So we've got 27 slots here, and 16 to 16 equals 32. So you need just under two slots full to be able to make this tick up to another one. Um, and I might do this with full stacks just so it looks a bit clearer. Um, we'll get some... Whoop, whoop, there. So if we put in one stack, it's still only getting up to one signal strength, even though 23 got this up to two. And I've forgotten the number, but we'll soon find out. Oh, I'll get a better angle of that. So you're looking at this piece of redstone dust for it to light up. That should light up sometime soon. Probably near the 55s. Maybe a little bit farther. There we go. Oh, went past. Is that it? 59. If we put one more in. Okay, so there you go. So you can see with a single chest, we need actually 124 to make it tick up to the next one, whereas this one was only 23 because of the inventory slots. Now, another thing with this you've got to you've got to know is that we're putting in stuff that can be stacked to 64. Um, but if we take something like a potion, for for instance, which cannot be stacked, you can see I'm shift clicking on this and I can only get one of these. So if I try to put in uh, one of these, you can see that it boosts up immediately to three, and that's because it's filled up one whole slot. So this whole slot's been used. It's not like you've put one in, you've put all of them in, a whole stack of them. Um, and so that way you can calculate, that That way it's actually consistent. Um, if, I, whoop, if I give myself four of these. Oh, 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 jeez. I've put five in, so I've only put five in here, and remember 23 last time goes only up to here, but now I've put five in, actually takes us up to full signal strength here, as you can see compared to just the uh, redstone torch. So it goes by how much it can be stacked by inside the thing. So, regarding that, I've got 22 objects in here. So 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. And so 22 gives me one output. As you can see, this is going into this lapis block, which powers the one above it and the one to side the block. So you can see that these aren't actually connected. This is, this is still getting powered. And I've just ruined it and this top one's still getting powered even without either on there. So they've both got separate control lines, kind of. And when I put one more blaze rod in, it will take up to 23, and as you can remember from here, the step between 22 and 23 makes it go one further on the redstone pulse, on the redstone signal. So that one further carries the signal to here, and it carries the signal to here. So when it carries the signal to here, it turns off this torch, and when you apply redstone power to a hopper, it stops it receiving or depositing, um, sorry, depositing, stops it depositing uh, items. So we take off this, the redstone signal and it's allowed to remove one item from here. But what has happened first is that this has been off, so items that you put in here, and here's our 39 that we've got out of here, items that you've put out into here have gone to here. And so when you put in one into here, it in immediately goes to here, boosts the line signal, and then it turns off this torch, allowing one to drop out. And then this goes back to having only 22. So this turns off, turns this torch back on, and it locks it at 22 again. So it's ready for the next round. And what also happens is it, can, it turns on this torch, which stops any more going, uh, this repeater, which stops any more going into here. So it only processes one item at a time, making sure that you get what you put in. And then for the output, it works on the same thing, where once this turns on, it means that there's 23 in this hopper, so one has gone in there, so it turns off this, allowing one item to come out of the chest, moving down to this hopper and to this hopper. And so the reason I've got two hoppers here instead of just one is just for the use when, you, when you've got some kind of facade up and uh, you want to have it kind of hidden. Um, there's also a, another design to it, but doesn't... Uh, actually, that doesn't matter, don't worry. We'll leave it as this design. Um, so yeah, that that's the uh, design for a shop. Uh, extremely compact, as I said earlier. I think I said earlier, four by three by three high. Um, yeah, 
dispensers one for one items. You can adjust it if you get a glitched one like this. I don't know how I did it, but you can get two out. Um, but you'll need a little bit more logic and redstone behind it to be able to get more either one item in for two items out or two items in for one item out. But anyway, that's uh, that's the video for today. Uh, I'm going to actually be uploading some a bit of nail PvP that I was playing with Rixia, who's the uh, the actual uh, creator and map designer of Nail, the PvP game for Minecraft. I'll be uploading that some some of that shortly. Um, so I actually did quite poorly in it. Uh, I'm gonna blame lag, but uh, I may be a bit uh, rusty on on PvP skills. I might have to I have to kill some more noobs. Um, <laughs> yeah. All right. So uh, make sure you don't do it in the F3 facing direction because it won't work as you can see here. But other than that, line your walls. It's uh, four, five wide tileable, and um, yeah, have fun uh, selling to your players. And also this method here. If you've got some kind of protection where they can't break blocks, there's actually no way of getting stealing stuff out of here. They can't break the block and get around to this chest or anything like that. Um, as long as, yeah, as long as they can't break the blocks. But if they can break the blocks, obviously anyone could get in there and and steal all of your diamonds without uh, and also your leftover emeralds, which whoop, which would be in your box. But I've taken them out. Um, so yeah, you've got to watch out for that. But anyway, thank you for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed this and uh, look forward to quite a few more uh, Redstone videos and uh, Monster Bear LP videos coming out. Uh, yeah, alright, thank you very much for watching and uh, I shall catch you next time. Good night.